Hey, what's up everyone? Chip here. And uh, today I've got something really kind of interesting to share with you. It's a product that Master Xeon and Bongiorno 7 and I have been working on for actually a couple months. It's a very simple product, but it took us a while to get here. We've tried a lot of different angles on how to solve this particular problem. The problem I'm talking about is the end panel. And as you know, you tap the end panel and this is where all of the add-ons are typically kept. And this can get very long, especially if you split your viewports up like this very quickly you can't figure out exactly what you're looking at over here so what we did is we decided that we would create an add-on to help fix this and it's going to be a free add-on it is a free add-on and you can pick it up at gumroad for free and blender market's going to charge you a buck because they can't do free over there okay so let's take a look at it go into preferences and as usual you'll install it by just clicking the install button and finding the zip file and installs like any other add-on it's a very small add-on it doesn't get in the way of anything else which is important one of the goals that we set for it once you see it, it'll pop up here, simple tabs. And here's the view 1.1.2 is the current version. Yours might be newer, depends, but uh, Bongiorno 7 programmed it, he did a great job. He also has products like Power Backup and Power Save. And if you haven't tried those, I highly recommend them. Power Save is probably the most used add-on I use. And Power Backup is absolutely fantastic for backing up your preferences. You may say, why would I want to back up my preferences or my add-ons? And the reason why is because a lot of times they can get corrupted, and especially the preferences and your startup scene can get corrupted. It manifests itself in all kinds of crazy ways. And with Power Backup, you can actually export all of your settings to a JSON file and then you import them back in. So it basically, it's a way of scrubbing your preferences clean. Really cool. Definitely check those out. And I think Power Save is free. Power Backup isn't. There's also Power Link, which I am not using right now, but it's got some pretty cool features in it too. You might want to check that out as well. Once you've turned on Simple Tabs, don't forget to save your preferences. And when you do, you're going to get this little circle right next to the uh, Power Save icon right up here. Okay. And so now we can see that we have Item Tool View over here. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hit this Refresh button. And I'm going to go right down in uh, Item we can't mess with item, but I can definitely grab a tool and I can move it around. But I'm going to actually move it all the way to the top like because I like it the way it is over there. And I'm going to go to View and do the same thing. And then I'm going to go to Kit Ops and move it up one because that's, that's one of the ones I use quite a bit. And I'm going to change that from Kit Ops to KO. Now watch when I hit this Return button. Okay, we're going to go over here. Notice that this is now, Kit Ops is now named KO. How cool is that? So now I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to go under in Bevel. This is Kid Ops Bevel. And I'm going to move it right under Kid Ops. And then I'm going to type in KO also. What is that going to do? Well, let's hit return. Let's hit the checkbox. And we'll see that what happens is now we've consolidated both Kid Ops and Kid Ops Bevel into the KO tab. How cool is that? So that's really neat. It's so one way of shortening this list over here is you can consolidate different add ons into one tab. So let's keep on let's keep on going. So I'll go to quad remesh. I don't use that as much. I'm gonna move it down. Synth I use quite a bit right now. So I'm gonna move it up. I'm gonna leave it called synth. CS Pro, my chalk style pro, I'm gonna call that CSP, power save, PS, sketch style, SS, quick shot, QS, uh, batch, I'll move it around, but I'm gonna leave it at batch. And then of course the edit menu, I can move that up. I'm gonna move that one up also. Let's move that up. Tool, edit view, and then uh, quad remesh, we'll call that QR. And then lastly, let's just move synth uh, all the way up right below, yeah, right right below kit ops. So then I hit return, and now look how cool. That's it, perfectly. So perfectly done, it's very easy to set up, and I you know encourage all of you to, to jump in, give it a try. If you ever want to reset your list, um, you can basically do that by just going in preferences, and just toggle this on and off, to or to toggle uh, simple tabs on and off, and that'll reset everything. So if you want, if you need to do that, you can do that. Oh, there's one more thing I left out. It's it's not that big a deal, but if you hit this question mark button, it's going to take you to the documentation. And here in the documentation, you'll be able to see how to use this, and it's really simple. But just in case you want to know more, this is a place to go. Okay. Thanks again for watching. See you. Bye.